the Fashion Business Channel. I'm Namoma Namezi, and I'm here with... Olga Ivaniti. And we are here at the Fashion for Ukraine fashion event. And now, you are the organizer for this event. So tell us, what is it about? What inspired you? So I was inspired by the lack of Ukrainian representation at the New York Fashion Week. I am also a model with a 10 years of experience. And when I walked this year in New York Fashion Week, I saw that there was no Ukrainian event and I wanted to be the ambassador for my culture. Now, I've been here for 16 years in this wonderful country. However, I saw that there is no Ukrainian representation yet here and um, why not? Why not? Yes. Why the hell? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so Fashion for Ukraine was born in March of this year and here we are. September 14, here at the Maria Gallery, and it's done. But it's just the start. Okay. So now that the event is over, what did you think? How do you feel about the event? I'm surprised that so, so many people showed up, but I'm also really grateful to Ukrainian people who showed up, but not only actually Ukrainian, but American and of different c cultures who came here to support us, makeup artists, hairstylists, volunteers from the fashion Institute, uh, models from all over the world honestly came to support us, designers from Austria, um, United States, Ukraine even. So this is the big event that, you know, it actually is bigger than me. I started with only three designers and here we are, 10 designers, 30 something models and lots of people involved and lots of amazing sponsors too. Okay. So I know you're a model as well. Yes. Did you ever see yourself running such an event? What is your history? What's your background? Um, I thought that I would do something, really potentially, but way down the line. So I modeled back in Ukraine where I'm from many years ago. And I came here and I stopped, but then I started to model again in 2019 in New Orleans. Because I'm originally from the Big Easy. So five years ago, I started to model professionally and I walked so many runway shows, New York, Miami, LA, Atlanta, all over Texas, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, you name it. You know, with all that experience, I feel like I have enough of background and also networking because so many models from Miami, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Texas and LA flew in to be in my show because I worked with them and they know me. They know that I'm a bossy lady and I will get stuff done and it's going to be an amazing show. So I'm forever grateful to all of them. Of course. And after running such a beautiful, amazing show, what's next for you? Any projects coming? Uh, yes, yeah, so season two, for Fashion for Ukraine. Like I told you, it is a movement. It's just the start. And season, f uh, season two for Fashion for Ukraine will be in February here in New York City. Uh, not in Maria Gallery, but some other location, which we will disclose on our Instagram account a little bit later. I already had two designers actually approach me right now, and they're from Ukraine, and they want to be the part of the show. Plus the designers who are returning like Olena New York, Ira Lisa, Koha and other brands. This show that we will do later on next year will be bigger than this. Bigger with attendance, bigger with sponsorship and bigger with the number of the designers and models that we will bring in. Well, I love what you're doing and I'm sure everyone who attended appreciates it. Yes. Everyone who's going to watch is going to love and appreciate it. Thank you so much. But Thank you, but we're not done. I want to thank my co-producer, the co-host and just amazing designer, Peyton North. So I want to thank Peyton North for being an amazing co-producer, co-host and amazing designer at Fashion for Ukraine. It honestly could not have been possible without him. This show was too big for me to run by myself. And when, honestly, my power was running out, he stepped in, he saved the day, and I could not have been more grateful to you. Thank you, Peyton. And he can tell about himself. Okay. So how was the event for you? It's a dream come true. It's been truly amazing. Everything that um, Olga is her idea to bring this to life. And she asked me, like, can you help me? And um, it's honestly been an honor to work along her side and bring this to fruition. Okay. It's truly amazing. Thank you for joining us, Olga and Peyton. And remember, guys, you are watching the Fashion, Fashion Business, Business Channel. Channel.